Hello! Today we have had a Chinese supplier send us some T10 bulbs. Or a T10 501W5W. They're the kind that you would typically find in an indicator, or a side light, or a dashboard light. Anyway, they sent us these to test slash review for nothing, so my review is always slightly biased as they're for free, so free things, you don't get a straight review for free things. But, they have sent me 10 of the same kind. I personally would have sent me 10 or 10 individual ones of the different colours that they make, because they do it in white, orange, yellow, ice blue, blue blue, green, red and rainbow colours. These ones are all ice blue. As I said, I would have sent me one of each colour and then I could have shown you all the colours. But hey, here we are. So they arrive in a packet that's got no instructions, no data. So no data means no claims, so they don't claim to be a wattage on the packet. They are all plastic, apart from the metal tabs. It looks like two chips, two chips inside this resin case, on each side. So you get, well, a full 360 of light. Not so much at the end though, there's nothing for the end. It's just folded over metal tabs like even your normal bulbs. Right, first things first, let's plug in a normal bulb. Can I have 12 volts please? Better still, let's have 14, like a full supply. Oh, that's too much, too much. Back up, 14.7, there we go. So, a normal bulb, a normal incandescent bulb, there we go, and uh, is this colour, and that's drawing 0.36 of an amp, 0.36 of an amp, there we are, it's your standard, well, white, we'll call it white, but, you know, it's kind of yellowy, yellow white, okay, now I've got, the two cameras are locked, for their colour balance, so the, the colours you see will be fairly accurate representations of what they look like compared to each other. So we'll take this out. It's a bit hot. So remember if you're doing it on your car, if your bulbs have just been on, they will be hot when they come out of wherever they're coming from. Now, previously with the LED bulbs I've had, you would put them in and if they didn't light out you would take them out and turn them around. So let's see if we got this right the first time. And we did, oh my god, that's blue. Jesus. That is very blue. Oh, it's very blue to me. God, if that's, if that's ice blue, how blue is there? Blue blue. Right, anyway, let's stick it out. Turn it around on 80 degrees. Hey, and it still lights. Okay, I like that. That's that's a good thing. Having it light in both directions, that's, that's a good thing. That means you don't have to worry about getting it wrong. Reassembling, oil light, put your head lights back in, turn it on, and it doesn't work, you have to take all the bits. But no, that's quite good. Oh, bank light, Jesus. I need new panel lights. Oh, that's currently drawing 0 0.05 amps, that's pretty much, that's, that's a lot less, that's a very much lot less. And I've got no way of testing it this time, because they're not point source, but it appears to be comparatively bright with the other incandescent bulb. And if my wires were longer, I would bring the camera over, but we'll zoom in a bit instead. Here we go, zooming in. Oh, fuck yeah. Look at that. So there it is in all its LED blues. You can't really tell, there's not, like I said, there's not a lot of light head on. You can see the separation where the PCB board is and the two LEDs on our side, but it's really blue. Like, okay. Keep this image in your mind. Or I could keep it on screen for you, that would be even better. That colour of white, ice, ice white, ice blue, ice blue, where's the middle of the screen? And then the standard one. And it's your, we'll call it warm white, I suppose it is warm white, warm white, yellow white. But that's, that, ha, that was hot. That is some blue. So this is iced, ice blue. Hey, some people really like this and it'll be absolutely over the moon chuffed having that in their car. Me, I really like just a plain white white, up uh, edging towards warm, but I'll just take normal white white. But, there you go, 
Anyo, now, now, anyo, oh, I didn't mean to sound racist or anything there, but anyo, LED bulbs, that's ice blue, this colour, which is a little bit too blue for me, but blue nonetheless. If they'd sent all the other colours, I would have shown you them, but hey, this is the world we live in, they didn't send them, so I can't show them. Are these bulbs waterproof? Okay, here's an standard incandescent. Mm. Let me zoom in a bit. Let me just move my test help so it's in the middle of the thing. Okay. Glass of water, regular Scottish tap water, Gunsel juice, as we like to call it. So, standard bulb. Dook. It's waterproof, it's underwater, it's doing it. Okay. Standard bulb, waterproof, as you would expect, being a sealed glass object. Our test LED bulb. Ah, look at this. Let's just duke it underwater. I didn't see any bubbles come out, so it's usually a fairly good sign that it's... Shugle about a bit. Appears to be waterproof. But Seems okay to me. Granted, there are holes in the base of it. Focus! There are holes in the particles where the pins go through, but it doesn't seem to have affected operation. But that doesn't mean that over time, then again, anything swears the water over time, the contacts will corrode. Would I put them in one car? No, because I don't like the colour. But that's it, that's the only reason I wouldn't use them. If they were white, I would probably put them in. If anyone in the UK that's subscribed to my channel would like a set of these bulbs, I will post you these for free. I got them for free, I will give them away for free. Just send me an email or a message or something and with your name and address and I will put these in an envelope and I will post them to you. Seems like a good deal to me. Obviously, I've got five sets, so five people can have a set of these. And then you can tell me what you think of them.